welcome to Idolize Makeup Tutorial Channel. So a few weeks ago I did my beautiful little sister's makeup for Halloween as Jigsaw from the Saw movies and I did her fiance's makeup as Twisty from American Horror Story as you can see here. And I am thinking about doing a tutorial on that look as well so if you'd like to see that one let me know by leaving me a comment down below. But today I'm going to show you how to do this Jigsaw makeup. So let's get started. Okay, so the things that you'll need to do this look today are the following. A black and a medium grey eyeshadow, a black and a red face paint, a white face paint, and if you've got a creamy one like I have today, you might need to add a liquid foundation to it. So I'll be adding in this light, almost white airbrush liquid foundation. A gel or liquid eyeliner, a black mascara, a black pencil eyeliner, a red lip liner, a red lipstick, a red lip stain or liquid to matte lipstick, a translucent setting powder, some lashes, and some lash glue. Okay, so first you want to mix together your white face paint with your light foundation and apply it over your whole face and down onto your neck slightly. Make sure that it's nice and even, and then apply a layer of your translucent powder over the top. Next, take a tissue and place it underneath your eye and then apply your black eyeshadow over your whole eyelid and slightly down onto your nose. The tissue is going to stop any foliage from the eyeshadow going down onto the face. You might need to apply a couple of layers to make it a nice dark black and then once you've done that, take your blending brush and blend out the edges. Apply the tissue slightly lower and then apply the black eyeshadow underneath your lower lash line. Now take a very thin brush with your black eyeshadow and apply a line down either side of the nose to just past halfway down the nose. Then take your blending brush once again and blend that backwards. Now take your black gel or liquid eyeliner and apply a thick line above your top lash line. This is going to really darken up the eyes and create a base for your false eyelashes. Apply your black pencil eyeliner to your waterline. Apply mascara to your top and bottom lashes. Apply your eyebrows using your black face paint and following the natural line of your eyebrows. But when you get to the inside, create a slant that slants inwards at the bottom and outwards at the top. Now take your medium grey eyeshadow on a blending brush and apply a semicircle underneath the apples on each side of the cheek. Now take your red face paint on a very thin brush and apply the swirls to the apples of your cheek. Start at the very centre of the cheek and the easiest way to do this is to do one continuous line. So don't take your brush off the cheek at all until you've finished the line. And the line should finish once you've hit the grey shaded semicircle. Now if you find that your line is faded a little bit at the end, you can go back in after with some more red face paint to deepen the red. The next step is to line the lips using your red lip liner and you really want to accentuate the cupid's bow points and make them quite high and also extend the line out either side of the ends of the lips. Next, apply your red lip stain over the whole lips. Once the lip stain has set, take your red lipstick and use it to really define the edges of those cupid's bow points as well as the lines on the outside of the lips. Then take your black face paint once again on a thin brush and apply a line down either side of the mouth from the outside of the lip to the bottom of the chin. Then once that's set, take your medium grey eyeshadow once again and blend down the outside of either of those lines. Now apply a line of glue to your false lashes and then apply those on your top lash line and push them into place using a Q-tip. Okay, and there we have our completed Jigsaw makeup tutorial. And to finish off this look, I added in a white collared shirt. Obviously, you would normally do this one up right to the top button, but I can't actually do it with my nails. So I've just left that undone. And I've also put on a red bow tie and a black blazer as well. Now, if you have got long hair, it's also a good idea to take your hair out and just fluff it down and have it hanging around your face. Adds to the scariness. And if you can get your hands on a little red tricycle as well, it is a fantastic prop to have along with this look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial today, and if you did, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to Idolize as well if you aren't already. I do upload videos twice a week, and if you have any suggestions for a look you'd like to see, just leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching guys, and I'll see you for the next video. Oh my god, look at that face.